This is 12.3 secondary lymphoid organ notes. The essential question is, what and where are the secondary lymphoid organs and what are their functions? Secondary lymphoid organs are side of mature lymphocytes. Remember, the primary ones are for the immature ones that are not ready for an immune response, while secondary lymphoid organs are actual organs now that are ready for to initiate an immune response. The organs that belong to the secondary lymphoid organs are spleen, lymph nodes, tonsils, appendix, and the Peyer's patches. Lymph nodes are organs that are surrounded by a capsule and they contain lymphocytes, the white blood cells. They are located uh, throughout the body and they are situated in areas where they're going to come in contact with any kind of pathogen that can cause problems or disease. Uh, their job is to monitor and filter the lymph and clean out all the bad stuff that should not be in the lymph. So some common uh, lymph nodes, they are named for where they're located. So submandibular node would be uh, underneath the jaw, lower jaw. Then the cervical nodes would be in the neck area. Then we have the axillary nodes, which are in the armpit area. Then we have the iliac node. And some, there is actually the abdominal nodes. And then we have the inguinal nodes. So those are common lymph nodes. And there is a special type of a node called the cistern, cisterna chile. And it is like one of the largest lymph nodes. And it is the last lymph node that's going to uh, hit. The, the lymph is going to flow through before it goes to the thoracic duct, then it's going to go into the um, circulation, into the blood. So it is the last ditch cleaning of the lymph before it gets into the bloodstream. So that's the important lymph node. Lymph nodes also contain white blood cells called macrophage, and they are named so because they are the largest white blood cells, and their job is to phagocytize, which means they completely swallow and destroy the any kind of foreign particles that they come in contact with. And then, of course, again, the lymph nodes contain lymphocytes, which is going to initiate immune response to an antigen. The general structure of the lymph node, it is a kidney-shaped structure, and it is one inch in length. So it has an area that's called the concave side, which is kind of dented in, and then you have the convex side. The outer layer, this area in this region here, this is called the cortex, and it contains collection of lymphocytes. Then the inner part that's outlined here, this area here, this is the medulla, and they contain the macrophages, which is our response for the phagocytosis. There are two types of lymphatic vessels that are associated with the lymph nodes. The afferent lymphatic vessels, they direct the lymph into the, towards the lymph node, and they are on the convex side. And the, once the lymph enters through the afferent lymphatic vessels, then they are flow directed through the sinuses, which are the spaces within the the uh, lymph node. Then when they exit, they exit out of the lymph node through the efferent vessels and those are located on the convex side. Again, lymph enters through the afferent lymphatic vessels and they exit out of the efferent lymph, uh, lymphatic vessels and the area where the efferent vessels exit is called the hilum, which is singular, or hilus, which is plural. Another thing to notice is that the, there are much few, uh, much more afferent lymphatic vessels than they are efferent vessels. And the reason for that is when you have many 
lymphatic vessels coming in and you only have you know fewer ones allowing the lymph to exit it's going to slow down the flow of the lymph through the lymph nodes that means that the the lymph node has more time to be able to clean up the lymph and filter out any of the bad stuff you can kind of think of it as on a freeway where there is actually four roads and then you are merging into two lanes and that's going to cause a congestion of the traffic and that will be the same case with the lymph flow in the lymph node. Next organ is the spleen. It's located on the left side of the abdomen near the stomach and their job is like every pretty much all of the lymphoid organs is to filter blood. And when they're filtering the blood, they're going to uh, remove any kind of worn out cells or anything um, that should not be there and then will destroy them. And they also act as a blood reservoir, which means there is a storage of blood. And then in case of emergency, it will, the spleen will dump out the blood to keep the circulation going when you are losing uh, a lot of blood. Tonsils are uh, located in the throat and it is located on the inside, just on the two arches, just in between the pharynx and the oral cavity. And their job is to, again, trap and remove any kind of bacteria or any kind of foreign materials. And when it gets completely congested, filled with bacteria, then you could end up with tonsillitis and the reason for that is you just have a collection of bacteria and tonsils and then it gets full and then it gets inflamed and then irritated and then it swells up. Pyrus patches are located on the wall of the small intestine and they resemble in tonsils in the fact in the structure the way it looks and just like the tonsils, their job is to capture and destroy any kind of bacteria in the intestine. Remember, the around the mouth, the intestine, you are coming in contact with food from the outside, so they can carry a lot of uh, bacteria and foreign materials that can cause problems. MALT is an acronym that stands for Mucosa Associated Lymphatic Tissue, and Mucosa Associated Lymphatic Tissue are lymphoid organs that are associated with or around mucosa, the mucous membrane. So you're going to find malt in areas where you are in contact with the outside. So you're going to find in the pious patches, which line is, is the, uh, lines the, the small intestine, the tonsils, which is in the uh, throat, the appendix, which is all part of also part of the digestive tract. And it's important to note that these, the malt is an extra cells that are there to, you know, the mucus will trap the pathogen or the foreign particles, but it's the, the organs like pyrus patches, tonsils, and pangus that's going to contain the lymphocyte, the white blood cells, that's going to destroy and kill the, the pathogen or the foreign material that might cause harm. Again, so the malt is important in protecting areas that are open to the uh, outside, like the re reproductive tract, the digestive tract, and also the respiratory tract. 12.3 notes homework. Number one, what is the general shape, structure, and function of the lymph node? Number two, what are the locations and functions of the spleen and the pyrus patches? Number three, what is the function and the location of the thymus and tonsils?